What is going on guys? It is Power Bang. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans episode. Today I've got a really interesting matchup for you guys. We've got the WHF crew versus WHF alumni. Now, for those of you that don't know what alumni is, that's basically former members. Like, just like in college or uh, university or high school, uh, after you leave, you're alumni, right? So, essentially, these guys are, have graduated for whatever reason from WHF, whether they went on to other clans, whether they're uh, retired completely, whether they're just playing more casually somewhere else uh, that is kind of the story so really really cool to kind of see some familiar faces I'll scroll through the lineup really quickly Captain Crunch SSJ2 Trunks we got King Flum Poison Stinger Saris the Great Gatsby Wilson Tummy Sticks and Lang Bang rounding out the top nine and those are all Town Hall 11s we got Connected Road Tim Olong Pink Sock DM aka The Hands Cobra Groovy Tony Agent 33 Sen Groovy Tony 3 Vans Edgar Doc and Trubaka PWC Flawless Sen and act ability that rounds out your town hall tens and as far as the nines go we've got the bartender lucas efx goku bronx zero gravity i me mr freelo joshi nara and yo jlc super hot fire lady mystica and you any rounding out the uh, town hall nines now, i feel like that was a lot of dark looters members there i, I think uh we it's safe to say we're a feeder clan now to the dark looters so anyways uh, good to see all you guys once again. Thank you for making the time to play against us. This has been a lot of fun for everybody involved. That being said, it's time to do some work. All right, so we are in the thick of it right now. WHF alumni has the upper hand for sure. I think we came out a little bit soft, honestly, and, and maybe took things a little bit light, but these guys are coming hard at us, man. So we got to really pick it up and uh, try to finish clutch because I think they definitely have the upper hand right now. So I got I to gotta try to, you know, get a three-star here. So let's take a look at this base. We'll look at Tim really quickly. I don't know if this plan's going to work, but dang it, I'm going to try anyway. So what I'm going to do is drop in uh, some troops essentially essentially to funnel and I want to funnel down here at six o'clock I'll start on the builder set so we don't miss that same thing over here on the left I'll drop some troops in here to funnel um, probably cover them with giants couple giants on each side um, just trying to do it a little bit more cheaply than a golem and what I want to do is jump spell straight over this wall because I want the inferno tower that's kind of what I want the air defenses I'm not super concerned with because we're gonna hit all of those kind of all at once with a whole bunch of hay spells and then ideally, uh, push around the outside here. I want to drop my Warden in towards the top. So we'll see what happens, just kind of winging it, honestly. Um, but we will uh, we will give it our best. So let's go ahead, hit the attack button. Do we even have everything cooked? It appears we do. Hopefully this goes well. I don't know if it will or not, guys. But we're going to try our best. So here we go. First things first, let's go ahead, drop in a Wizard over there, Wizard over here, Wizard over here. So what we're going to do is drop in... Wizards on the corners. And we're going to drop in a couple of... Boom. Just like that. So, get in there. Everybody go in. That's where you want to go. So, this is what's going to happen. We want to get this cannon down just like so. And then we're going to slow up this golem loon push. That is the idea anyway. So, the loon should go down. Let's, uh, let's see if we can lock onto something other than the golem we can't so let me uh let me pop the ability and we can rock and roll so here we go we're gonna go here and we'll go here here i'm literally just kind of shooting some stuff in just like so and we are gonna haste everything in so i want one of these uh one of these guys in the core We'll haste those guys. And then we want everything to kind of go around the outside here. We are going to get into... That is what I'm talking about. So I'm going to distract this backside here with... Oh, no, I missed the haste. We're going to have to redrop that. Oh, no. That was bad, guys. That was bad. Can't we get a split? Yes, we do. But we missed the uh, we missed the core, man. We missed that Tesla in there. That's going to be a little bit problematic. But I think, I think, oh no, the air bomb. That was a brutal air bomb, guys. Brutal air bomb. Can we get it done? There's skellies in there. This is going to fall short on that last Tesla. Holy crap. So this is so close, but it's not going to get it done. I think, I think we may be able to overwhelm 
the rest of this base with all of these pups. We just gotta hope all the air bombs got soaked up. We got a, a builder hut in the corner. This is gonna be like my first attack in quite some time. And I'm gonna barely, barely get it done if it happens at all. Oh my god. We, we will see. <laughs> this is crazy doing it live, dudes. I, I was a little nervous, not gonna lie. So here we go. This is all about where the king goes. Will he go away and let that Tesla be targeted first? That is the goal here. Oh my god. Can we get it? 31 seconds, guys. I don't think we're gonna have enough to, time to get to the corner. That's the problem right now. I don't think we're gonna have enough time to get to the corner. We will see. This is super, super close. 20 seconds, 15, 18, I don't know. I, yeah, I think we might have got it. I think we might have got it. Jesus, criminy. Whoo, talk about a freaking uh, close call there. Good God. Yeah, I meant, I, meant, I meant to do it. This is exactly exactly what I planned the whole time. It's totally what I planned. So anyway, whoo. Uh, I got no words for that one, guys. I got no words for that one. But yeah, we dominated that one, dude. Dominated. Hold on. I got to get my keyboard. Dominated. Never a doubt. OP. PB. Wrecked it. I don't even know. I don't even know. Anyways, uh, yeah, so that happened. Anyways, we good. We got another visitor to the video. Let's go ahead and, and have a little guest speaker in here today. So, um, anyways, let's look at what some other people did besides me in this war. So, uh, let's first off, uh, let's look at the enemy team. First off, I can see Agent 33 uh, slash Cobra, both the same player, had an amazing day. So three out of four for him. Fresh Town Hall 10 triples. So, dude, are you talking? <laughs> dude, good job on the uh, on the hits for for your squad. Let's go ahead and look at one. Let's take a look at his first hit on Cobra, uh, the first Fresh Town Hall 10 trip of his of the war. We've got some help commentating for sure. This is Baby Bang for those of you guys that haven't met him yet. Uh, so he starts off with the Queen Walk on the right, taking out those air defenses, still sweating over that attack like Gemini Christmas, guys. Oh my God. All right. So, anyways, um, yeah. So he starts off here on the right, getting those air defenses taken out seems to be the goal since he's got a Lalo, uh, you know, army composition here. And look at the narrow miss on the uh, on the wall breakers. That mortar landed just a little bit in front of them. That could have been bad and spelled the end of this attack. So we got somebody definitely trying to show off today. Uh, we've been we've been recording little videos, so now he's getting used to the camera and thinks he can come in and just holler whenever he wants. What whatever. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him. So anyways, uh, it looks like the queen. Doing work, making her way in, takes out the CC, looking good so far. And then he uses that king on those outer buildings to make sure the queen goes into the base um, rather than kind of wrapping around the outside of the wall. So look at the wall breaker from way downtown. He gets the test wall breaker down, hits the, uh, the little bomb, and he's going to send three more to open up the rest. So that's just some serious wall breaker work right there. Queen on queen action in the core, takes out the enemy queen. And this is looking really good so far. And you can see his ultimate goal here is to wrap the queen around and, and grab this Inferno Tower. So looking really good so far for Cobra. And he's already starting the Lalo portion from the top right. Getting those uh, balloons really nicely into the Inferno. Beautiful. So nice work on that. We got the queen taking out the Inferno Tower in the south. And it's just a matter of hasting everything through at this point. There's really not a lot left. And the queen's still alive with those healers keeping her up. Uh, so fantastic attack here from Cobra. Really liked it, man. Uh, and, and hell of a war, dude. Like seriously, busting out three Town Hall 10 trips, man. That's uh, that's huge. So Baby Bang making an exit, and so is Cobra. So nice work on that one, man. Let's go ahead and take a look at some other guys. We got a live attack going right now. Uh, he doesn't get the triple. KC is able to hold him off. DM, aka the Hands, and Kanekabrud not able to come up with a three star on KC. Both of those guys in the world champion Dark Looters. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at maybe the enemy team again. Let's go down to uh, old WHF member Lady Mystica, and we'll see what she did here for the uh, the hit on FBL. She was able to pick up a three star here. Good job, uh, Lady Mystica, on this. So coming in from the right side with the golems, 
uh, drops those in, and, and let's see what she has in the CC. Is it going to be a shattered entry with bowlers, or is she going to bring a third golem here, or maybe even some hog riders out of the CC? Remains to be seen. Funneling going on with the wizards, though, and ultimately you're going to see a jump spell uh, probably on that cannon to open up the junction and lead into the expo. So here the heroes come down. Things looking pretty good. Trails with the wizard to get that cut, that, uh, that, hu blah, 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 blah. that builder hut in the corner, so things are good. Here is that jump spell we talked about, and it is bowlers indeed in the CC, and we do have a double poison work up for the clan castle troops of baby dragon witches and uh looks like some archers in there as well so good job uh handling the cc poison spell held onto uh is she going to use that for the the skellies or the queen remains to be seen on that as well queen hops the wall he she, she does use it for the queen queen is now down and and the the push here was just huge man uh, the CC actually acts as a nice HP uh, buffer there. Unfortunately, the queen makes it a little bit too weak. They don't get the sweeper on that far side. But we are through the wall now. So bowlers go over. Wizard's still alive. Good God, this push is insane. Here come the hogs from the backside. And she decides to use a heal on the golem, keeping it up uh, rather than healing the hog riders. So just use, using the, the heal to heal up the distraction, essentially. And then another heal top left on the quad tesla farm and oh, wow look at all those skellies up there good god so nice job on that it looks like the queen's still alive in the core wreaking havoc and skellies in the and the uh tesla farm up there really did some work thank god for the push on the kill squad king and bowlers on the outside of the map now queen's gonna break through the wall and then uh, have an opportunity to use her ability to take out almost all of the buildings up there the only thing left is the tesla and it's going to be up to the bowlers there to get that done. So really nice hit from Lady Mystica here. Nice work on the three-star. First war back in a while in the WHF fam. So, uh, yeah, nice. Good job. All right, so 93-81, currently the score. Let's show some from our side. Let's go down to, oh, I don't know. We had a 99 on Knekebrud. We had a 99 on DM, a.k.a. The Hands. Uh, any other 99s that we had? It seems like we've had a lot of those this war, but that's okay. That is okay. So uh, let's look at uh, Pablo Escobar had a minor hit. Enigmatic had, let's see if this is a minor hit or not. It is. Let's not look at this one. Let's go into one of the other ones. Um, I remember we had a couple of minor hits and then we had some really like solid looking stuff as well. Uh, White Walker King. Is this it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this hit, guys. This is insane. So look at the Noah's Ark, essentially, of troops. He doesn't have, like, ten of anything. It's literally all over the map. White Walker King sends in some hog riders, gets to the Inferno Tower, gets the lure, and now he's able to deal with this in the corner. Now, this is kind of a, a really popular way to kill a Lava Hound in the CC nowadays, is one baby dragon with the help of a wizard is enough to take it out and kill all the pups. So 14 camp space. I guess 15 with the, the archer out there for the lure. Looking really good. So you can see the baby dragon now is locked on to the, the hound. There's another wizard drop to help out with the archers. So not quite what he was hoping for there as he was hoping the baby drag kind of locked onto those archers first. But now the poison spell dropped. And look where the, the pups have to go to get to the, the baby dragon. They all come in there and die. And last shot here, baby dragon gets it off right before it dies, takes it out. So really nice work. Now we've got a golem, some funneling going down on the right side, wall breakers in behind, and check this out. We've got some uh, wizards making that funnel. Bowler City, out of the clan castle, and then a few bowlers in the army camps as well. They work through real deep, and then a jump spell all the way to the core. Uh, wall breakers helped them get in that far, but look at this. Rage heal there, away from the infernos. Everything has fallen in this base except for that backside. Now you can see uh, trailing in, we're going to have some balloons on the flanks where it's just the cannons. Uh, so no air targeting stuff to really disrupt them. You can see the queen, the king, everything kind of working their way through. They're going through that last wall right now, trying to get to the Inferno Tower. The queen still doing work. She is going to remain alive, it looks like. It looks like the, um, the queen finally uses her ability. And the balloons are kind of sneaking in from that right side. He still has three of them remaining. And as she goes around to this last Inferno Tower, unfortunately, it is her time. She hits a bomb and dies. But it's all good. All three uh, remaining balloons with the haste go in to this uh, Inferno Tower. And look at this. He's going to get all the way in. I mean, geez louise, what value there from those three balloons. Two haste spells. He gets the Inferno Tower as well as two other heavy point D. 
uh, to take care of it. And then the rest is just clean up everything looking good. Man, oh man, guys. So looking really sharp for White Walker King. He gets the three star. Love it. So we got a live attack going right now. DM, aka the hands, taking on Aussie Tron. Uh, let's go ahead and see how this works for him. He's got the Hog Riders. A Hog Rider attack at Town Hall 10 is very, very potent right now, guys. So uh, definitely don't underestimate it. It looks like the Queen doing absolute work here on the entry. Takes out the enemy Queen as well as the King uh, and is still going. So here come the Hogs kind of working their way around on that right side. And we will see Hogs come out of the CC as well. So this is an extremely strong Hog Rider attack. Queen hasn't used her ability yet, guys, so things are looking really good. Free spell down, plus the haste and heal. Get those hogs to the Inferno Tower and through it before it's out of the freeze. Gotta love it. And now it's just a matter of kind of cleaning up the rest of this base. So looking sharp for DM, aka the hands. And Hog Rider's kind of powering through. The queen is still up. This is looking really, really sharp. So yeah, I'm liking it, man. I'm thinking this is a triple for sure. Uh, these guys are killing it, man. Absolutely killing it. 56 seconds left in this raid. He's got a Tesla as well as the Mortar. Somebody is back for some more fun. He wants to clash. So here we go. Back into... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was unfortunate. Tesla holding off the last section here. Oh my goodness. Did we count it too soon? The Queen has so much left to get through. Wizards on the right side. They are grouped up. Those Mortars are going to be in range any moment. Can the queen clear out the rest of this in time? The wizards are weakened. I don't know, guys, if this is going to be enough to get it done. Mortar takes out a wizard. Oh, no. Springtrap gets all three of them that are left, and this is going to be a high percentage one star for DM, a.k.a. the hands. Can you say so yeah. Yeah, boom! All right, so guys, that is going to do it for this episode. We've shown some attacks from the alumni. We got a cool one from the WHS side as well. I did a live attack and absolutely crushed it as I planned the whole time. So, anyways, that being said, thank you guys for participating in the war. Those of you that are watching this that are in the war, the alumni, I hope you guys are all good wherever you're currently at in your clash and life careers. Um, you know, miss you guys. Been a pleasure uh, being part of this war with you. That being said, this is Power Bang. I am out of here as Clash with Ash is blowing me up right now. So that's uh, that's what I got. Anyways, guys, peace out. This is Power Bang. I'll catch you in the next one.